Hi, what's up, guys? My name is Mickey V, and I am here with David Goodwater. David, go ahead and introduce yourself. I'm David Goodwater. I am a photographer. I'm, <laughs> <laughs> You're what? I'm David Goodwater. I am a director of photography. Gotcha. All right. What does that mean, a director of photography? So, you know, well, photography and video is basically the same thing. But when it comes to video, uh-huh. it's, it's motion picture. It's just pictures in pictures motion. Pictures in motion. Okay, you know? gotcha. So when it comes to a, a director of photography, uh-huh. I am directing what you see. I am directing all the imagery. I'm glad I asked that question because yeah. I had no idea what that meant. <laughs> so, so you're directing, like, especially if you're working with a team, you're the person that decides how is this going to be perceived. Okay, that makes well, a lot more sense. Well, I, I, oh, go I'm going to correct you on that. Yeah, yeah. The director on set will direct or um, control how it's perceived. The director of photography is is his, his or hers main job is to direct where the audience members' eyes are going. Okay, so the, the but director, their attention is going to be on. Is there a name for the director? Or is it just, are they just known as the director? The director. The, the, the director. The director, so, <laughs> yes. So they decide how everything's going to be perceived. You decide where that camera's going to go to help and how things are going to be perceived. Exactly. That makes more yeah. sense. All right, cool, cool. How'd you get into being a director of photography? But you have great work. Check them out online. Um, but what's your... At- um, you can catch me on IG at My Iris TV. And you can catch, you can uh, go on, onto my website at myirisTV.com. Why my iris TV? Um, was 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 it's, it's really a funny story. Uh-huh. Um, when I first started doing photography and doing video, um, a lot of people would say, "You have a great eye." Okay. Like yeah, they, yeah, yeah, I've they, heard that. If they liked my work, they would say that. Like, you have an I, eye for this. Yeah. yeah. And I, when I I was in the point where I wanted to start. Um, you know, my brand, my business, mm-hmm. and I needed a name. Okay. I needed a name, and I wanted to incorporate the eye. Gotcha. Like the eye, and all the my eye names were taken. They were all taken. So I was like, I got to incorporate the eye in some way, uh-huh. you know? And I was like, okay, the eye has an iris, right? right? right. That's the only thing I can really use for my name. <laughs> so I took that. So it's kind of like everything. <laughs> everything else is taken, so you right. had to choose something else. Yeah, and but it then you had, out. It yeah, because you don't have any numbers or anything on it, so like nobody else had that. And and it's unique in that way. Yeah. So hey, it worked out. Okay, for sure, for sure. <laughs> um, okay, so being a director of photography, how did you get into being a director? How long have you been doing it for sure? Um, since uh, professionally since 2015. Okay, and uh, so that's uh, eight years. Yeah. Quick math. Quick math. Uh, so, oh, so you've been doing it for a minute. Yeah. How did you get into being a director of photography? How does one actually start to do that professionally? You can go to film school. Okay. But I would suggest, I would suggest, mm-hmm. get a camera. It does. It can be your phone. Yeah, we're shooting be, this on iPhones right now. Right. It, it can be any type of camera. And just use your creative instincts to tell a story. Mm. And do your best with that. And that's how you get into it. It's that simple, but it's that's, it's easier said than done. But that's my suggestion in getting into it. It's simple, but it's not easy. Right? Exactly. Like it's, it's a matter of, like you just said, grab your, even your phone mm-hmm. and tell a story. Yeah. Which is simple, but it's not easy. What makes it, was it hard for you to get started? Or did you feel like you could just have the confidence to just go for it? Um. So it, I, I'll say this. I went to college and I had the, the film school experience. Okay. But to anyone that's trying to go into film school, make sure that program has hands-on lessons. Okay. Like you're actually on set and you're learning each role of each position within um, creating a, a film. If it doesn't really cater towards that, don't don't go into that program. Don't invest into that. Don't, don't and you're talking to actually go and, and be on set, talk to the people there, connect mm-hmm. with the people there, rather than like online film school where you're just going to be reading. Exactly. Gotcha. Um, and also, 
make sure you're actually doing the hands-on work because that's that's the only way you're gonna work gonna learn. Right. Right. That's the only way. It's hands-on. Hands-on. <laughs> you you have yes no exactly because you can it's like push-ups. Uh, you can you can read about push-ups. Yeah. You can talk about push-ups, but until you actually start doing push-ups, you're not going to get any stronger. Exactly. So in your regard, it's like you can you know you can learn about it. You can talk about uh, being a director of photography, but until you actually grab some sort of film device and start yeah. doing it, you're not going to get any better at it. Exactly. Okay, I feel that. I feel that. Um, for okay, kind of hopping, switching lanes a little bit, just to watch the time. As far as you know, what this life has taught you, right? You, how long have you been on this earth? Uh, Thirty-one years. Thirty-one years. Yeah. So and I've been twenty-eight, and so we're about the same. Um, I feel like I've learned a lot in those twenty-eight years. I'm sure you feel like you've learned a lot in those thirty-one years. What is it something that you have learned that you feel like if you were to die tomorrow, you would want to leave your loved ones and the rest of the world with this message? Go for it. Okay. Go for it. I need more than that. <laughs> what do you mean? Go. You know, there's there's things that we we like to call them dreams. Okay. That we we have or goals that we have. Um, but in my opinion, don't let don't let anyone, and most importantly, don't let yourself stop you from going for it. Create a game plan. It's possible. It is possible for you to accomplish pretty much anything. Anything, right? Anything anything you know and that, that's something that i had to develop develop that inner confidence that inner belief yeah and that's where it starts once you believe it and you actually ex um have a game plan and you execute it yeah and also this is one another important thing you have to have allies okay you're always going to have always going to need support when it comes to um going on your journey to accomplish your goals or your dreams. So one of your messages for the people that you love, if you were to die tomorrow, is is have allies to in this process of living life and, and achieving your dreams. Why is it important to have allies? It's important to have allies because there's gonna be a there's gonna be times in your life where you're not gonna be your best. Okay. It's gonna, you're actually gonna be at your lowest. Yeah. And you're gonna have to embrace that. And I believe one of the reasons why we're in this life together with each other mm -hmm. is to help each other. Okay. For sure. And I don't know what you believe and if you believe in God or the universe, your new, the, the universe or God is going to put you in situations where you're either going to need help from someone yeah. or are you actually going to help someone? Yeah. Okay. So embrace that. It, it, it's a, it's a full circle. Yeah. You know, this, this life is a full circle, so um, embrace that and always express yourself, even with others. Yeah, I'm with you on that. I, I wish one thing I could have told my younger self was like, you know, you call it allies, they call it networking. Um, just network and get to know as many people as possible because things like this happen. Right? It's like, we met and look at what we're doing now, right? right and exactly. so uh, I absolutely agree with you. I think that uh, that's also a message I would leave to my loved ones is, is just make allies. There's, it's only going to help. Mm -hmm. Yeah, make make friends, make connections, and uh, we are here together to help each other. Yeah, I don't think we've gotten we would have gotten this far if we hadn't helped each other. I've definitely have never done anything alone. Uh, everything that I am today is because I have had help from someone else. So and that's cool. I like it's that. a beautiful thing, man. Yeah, it's, it's so beautiful when you can actually make a connection with someone and help each help each other just with anything, with with everything, you know. Yeah, and that's. Let me ask you another question, though, because I think that's one of the patterns that I fall into is is that I will tell people, you know, what they should do, but never how they should do it. Mm -hmm. So how do you actually make allies? How do you actually network and make friends with people? Well, the thing is, you have to understand what an ally is. An ally is someone who, unlike friends, okay, unlike friends, an ally will tell you what you need to know or what you need to do. Uh -huh. A friend, you know, they'll tell you what you yeah, want to hear. They're to comfort you. Yeah, yeah. They, you know, they tell you what you want to hear. And, and we love that. them for that. We love yeah, them. Right. Yeah, we, sometimes we need that. But you also need someone who will, you know, kind of you know, tell you straightforward, like, hey, yeah, and, and kind of check you a little bit. I know? think those are best friends, at least for me. <laughs> like, <laughs> I have a best friend. I have multiple best friends in my life who, like, 
they, I have my friends who will come for me. Then I have my best friend who will come for me and then give me tough love at the same time. And I value him so much because of that. So I feel you on that. And, and don't take that person for granted because that, that, that is rare when you have someone that can actually be both yeah. in, in your life. But how do you actually make those allies? So, so now we know what an ally is, somebody who's going to support you. What, I mean, because you have a lot of allies, right? I, I see it, at least from my perception, you, you know, you've, you've networked yourself so well and I see you everywhere. I see you working with so many people. How do you actually make that happen? Oh, well, I feel like the, the best way that I've made allies is through just networking. Uh -huh. Networking and this, I feel like when you're pursuing your, your dream or your goals, you're going to come across someone who's doing the doing similar things. Yeah, yeah. And it's, it's going to be like, a, is this going to be... You can feel that energy, yeah. right? Like, like Almost like a chemistry. And it's just going to be like that. That yeah. synergy is going to come like that. Synergy, yes. And yeah. you can just recognize it, Yeah, you know? Like, oh, okay, I see what this guy's doing. Right. You know, I'm on the same thing. Let yeah. me let me help this guy, you know? And it's just a matter of, like, reaching yeah. out, right? Just yeah. putting yourself out there, just like, hey, because, let's because, work together. Because you, 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 you will eventually see yourself in that person. You're uh -huh. like, oh, and, and, and you, you'll, you'll, you'll listen uh -huh. and you'll see, okay, that person needs help in that. And I, I, I got the tools exactly for what that person needs. Boom. And that's when you offer the help. Yeah. So it's almost like a, a give, not that you're taking from them, but a give before you take. And, but in a sense of like, let me give you. Uh, a way of helping you mm -hmm. and then if you can help me in some way and you want to then that's where we become these these allies with each other and and it's, it's not uh a bargaining type thing it's, right. it's more it's, it's just seamless it's 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 a second nature type of thing yes. you know and, and and it's that like you said it's the chemistry the right. chemistry is there and it's a beautiful thing okay Sure. I like that. I like yeah. that. Um, I brother, well, that's a, that's, that's great advice. I think for, you know, I love the way that you talked about how I understand director of photography a lot better now. I like the way that you talk about how, you know, you just got to do it. Um, and I definitely agree with you as far as like having those allies and, and networking and everything like that. Yeah. It, I have one last question. It's a tradition on the podcast is if you could talk, and the reason I asked this question is because I was a school teacher, so I have a lot of youth uh, watching me, and I always want to be a good influence to them and bring other good influences to them. If you could talk to your 13, 14, 15-year-old self, and you could say one thing to him to just kind of make his life so much easier moving forward, what is one piece of advice that you would give to that 14-year-old David? Jeez. 14-year-old David. Um... I would tell 14 year old David this. Um, you don't have to be perfect. I know every society or every person is trying to be perfect, but you don't have to because you're, you're never going to be perfect. But that's, that's okay. You have to em embrace your imperfections. And within that, you actually will be the most, the most David, David can be. <laughs> yeah. Just be yourself. Yeah. Love that. Embrace his imperfections. Yeah. All right. Awesome, man. Well, thank you so much, bro. That's, uh, that's all I got. Appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> Good episode, bro. I like that. It was much better that second time around once we started kind of getting more into just the natural conversation. Yeah. That was great. <laughs> you made me tear up a little bit at the end.